What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about The Exorcist Believer in this video once again here today. So we know that the trailer for the film dropped yesterday. We know over the last couple of days, last week at this point or so, we got in the poster, got an updated plot synopsis, uh, got a nice glimpse at the film and a lot of people, myself included, a lot of people did enjoy it for what it was. Me and a bunch of other people thought it was subpar to just looks like your standard horror sequel that isn't up to par with a movie like The Exorcist that came out back in the 70s. It's just hard to recreate that type of magic. Well, for these for this creative team, I would say th them doing Halloween, I could say is more believable than what they're planning to do with the exorcist since that's supposed to be a trilogy so what we're going to discuss though primarily in this video is linda blair and her return or lack thereof as reagan mcneil in the upcoming exorcist believer sequel that's dropping in october so earlier this year a bloody disgusting article came out stating that jeff snyder who if many of you know that name you know that that's a scooper insider jeff snyder reported that linda blair will reprise her role as reagan mcneil above the line has exclusively learned sources say that blair was only on set for a few days so she's not in the film all that much but her return to the franchise should make fans head spin with excitement now it's important to note that blumhouse spokesperson only confirmed to snyder that blair served as an advisor on the new movie refusing to confirm or deny an on-screen appearance david gordon green just recently confirmed that this advisor stuff is true yesterday when the trailer dropped for the exorcist believer during a recent interview with entertainment weekly when asked if blair will appear in the exorcist believer or the subsequent sequels to the film green sidesteps the question but reveals that the film alludes to her character in a number of ways the, the director does confirm the reports that blair visited the set we were lucky and had linda as a technical advisor she helped us bring excellent performances out of young actresses. It was really valuable having a relationship with her and being able to get her as part of this conversation. So I know the question I've seen over on Reddit, Twitter, a lot of other places down in my comment section is, is Reagan in this movie or not? Is Linda back? Well, that's the thing we'll have to wait and see in October. However, Green saying that the film alludes to her character in a number of ways is true. We all know this since her mother is back and basically filling in a role that many people would argue is far more believable for Reagan to be in and not her mother since Chris has written a book about her trauma and she's become kind of fascinated with the idea of exorcisms as much as that is still believable for chris herself the fascination part and wanting to be informed on other cultures that relate to exorcisms and stuff that your daughter unfortunately went through as much as that's still a believable aspect of her arc there for her anyway it would have been far more believable for the character that went through it all in the first movie which is none other than reagan who was played brilliantly by linda blair so reagan's name we also see in the trailer spotted being carved out at some point um on on the bed it looks like it is here's what i know test screening folks are backing up what jeff snyder reported earlier in this year and even prior to jeff's own reports about linda i was tipped off about linda's return sometime in the later half of 2022 might have been a little bit earlier by a reliable individual but then the test screening folks just filled in the gaps by telling me her role and what she's present for so she was involved for the people who already saw this film for test pur test purposes reagan is in the movie linda blair did have a couple of scenes jeff snyder's report in this regard is true now why isn't she in the trailer because as snyder's reports claim blair was only used briefly and according to the notes that i have from the test screening people it's not even enough to fill two lines on a piece of paper if i wanted to just just to give an example of how little this return see, seems to be in the overall story so advertising her and marketing her return as reagan only for her to have less than a minute of screen presence possibly that's just not worth it taking the taking the keep it a surprise for most viewers approach like tony todd's return in Candyman. That's more reasonable because her return is on the same playing field as Todd's return as Daniel in the Candyman legacy sequel we got in 2021. Now, back in that same year, 2021, Blair did tweet this out about her potential return as Reagan. 
She said to all of my fans asking about my involvement in the new Exorcist reboot. As of now, there's not been any discussion about me participating or reprising my role. I wish all of those involved the best and I appreciate the loyalty and passion the fans have for the Exorcist and my character. So clearly things change, but likely not in a way that fans that wanted to see Reagan in a substantial role might have expected. She's in the movie, guys. But if she doesn't appear, that's because it was cut. That's how little she is in the movie. These test folks, they're not lying about the film. I know they are not lying because the trailer has confirmed a lot of their claims. Those of you who follow me on Twitter, you saw that I put out a tweet to associate one of the things that have come out publicly now that they told me about. I lined that up with the plot synopsis that came out. So these folks are not lying. People who saw this movie already, they saw Reagan. Reagan did appear, but her role is so insignificant that Reagan could easily be cut from the final product that we now get in October. But from what I know from the test screenings as well, is that that was one of the more positive things from them. So I don't know why it would get cut. If anything, keep it in so it can have the same reaction or same response from the audiences, like how Tony Todd's brief appearance at the end of Candyman had a very positive reaction from audiences. If it's not cut, Reagan's return that being it's just a return that will make those that want to see her happy but it is completely unnecessary and just another nostalgia tactic I'm being quite honest she has that little significance to the story so she is in a cut of the film but if she doesn't appear in October they just cut her out she's she's in the movie we might not even have them come out and confirm it if they cut her but chances are they are not going to cut her if they do not have her in the movie i'm telling you that's because her scenes were cut she shot scenes for this movie she's just not very significant as much as it seems her mother is going to be because that's why her mother is highlighted more so in the trailer you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video